YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. What is up, YouTube? Y'all heard it from my son. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, turn on your notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up. Drop me a comment in the comment section. Listen, guys, I know it sounds repetitive and I keep repeating myself, but uh, it's working. You know, as of today, right now, as I'm recording this video, I'm sitting at 150,000 subscribers, you know, and for that, I'm grateful. You know, I started this journey a little over six months ago. I believe back in June was my first upload. So here we are six months later, 150,000 subscribers. So to everybody out there who subscribed to the channel, you know, if you happen to be one of them, I'm grateful and I appreciate you. All right, man, so we about to hop in the shower real quick. Yesterday we weren't able to get a shower in. You know, that's just what it is, man. That's just how trucking is sometimes. Sometimes you get one, sometimes you don't. That's a bunch of my feet. I want to get a hot. Okay. Just a quick clarification. I know there are some twisted minds out there. But no, you do not shower together. My son is nine years old, so he showers first. And after he's done, he goes sits in the corner over here and watch some basketball or cartoon, whatever he want to watch. And then I sneak in the shower behind him. That's how we do it. Feeling nice and refreshed. Uh, I'm about to go across the street right now and get a trailer washout. For my next load, um, there's a mandatory washout and I have to show proof uh, by showing my receipt. So. I'm about to go across the street right now and do a quick washout and I'll get my morning started. So let's get it. So there was nobody at the truck wash today because it was raining outside, so I was first in line. So it should be a quick in and out. What's up, Bobby? How you doing, man? It would be nice to get my truck washed, but that would be a waste of money, man. It's raining right now, so that's just money down the drain. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what's up, bro? Where my guy at, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, brother. They're happy, 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 happy New Year. But this is a good truck wash right here, man. Exit 40, Milford, Connecticut. They always get me right, man. Time for this little guy. Oops, he just lost one. Alright, so wash is completed. Alright, bro. some of the milk so it doesn't spill. Go ahead. Alright, that should be good. Man, my truck and my trailer is so dirty right now, man, but I can't even wash it. You know, it's been raining like crazy. Uh, that's just money down the drain, so I don't want to do that. But, uh, let me just go outside real quick, just to double check, make sure they close my trailer doors properly, and put my load bars back in the trailer. You never.
never know. I'll be right back. Can't wait to wash this dirty truck, man. Nice and clean. So normally I would set the reefer on 80 degrees and just let it dry. But I'm about to go pick up my load right now in about two hours and it's gotta be set for minus 10. So that's just gonna be too much work trying to get my reefer to get back down to temp from 80 degrees, you know? So I'm just gonna set it on minus 10. Whatever water is in there, just gonna freeze up, man. Set point, it's already set at minus 10. That was my last load that I ran was at minus 10, so we're good. Set at minus 10, I have enough fuel in the reefer. And we out of here. Off to New York. How you making out over there, man? You're making a mess. So let's roll out, put your seatbelt on. Huh? What else do you need from back there before I drive off? Huh? The tablet? I'm in a semi truck. Normally, semi trucks turn on the outside lane. But if you're familiar with this area, you know this area, don't ever turn in the outside lane right here. Once I turn right here, you have about 500 feet maybe to merge back over to the left to hop on the freeway. And if there are a bunch of cars or trucks or whatever on the inside lane, you're not getting back over unless somebody decides to let you over. So you would literally turn right here and then you have to get right back over. And this intersection is very wide, so even if you have another truck on the outside lane turning, you'll still be fine. How do I know? Well, I lived here. Connecticut used to be home. Are you ready to go back home? You've only been on the road for two days, man.
glad you caught it. Caught in front of me just to do that, right? Just a four wheeler being a four wheeler. right there exit 26 yeah and I used to get off that exit right there to go pick up my loads at that warehouse right there across the street over here this warehouse right here PC Richard and son right there that used to be my warehouse where I used to get loaded five days a week and I would head back north to either the Hartford or the Springfield area I did that for four years you know, that's just a lesson right there in itself. Sometimes you gotta start out small before you get to where you wanna get to. You know, I didn't always start out in the big semi truck. You know, I started with a box truck and I worked my way up until I could afford to buy a semi truck. But that was a lot of work, man. Delivering those household appliances, that was back breaking work. I don't wish that on my worst enemy. Especially when he had to bring those appliances upstairs. That wasn't easy. But I did it. You don't remember when I had box truck. You were too young, man. You were probably about a year old or maybe two the most. Not even. What color was the truck? Or the trucks? Red. Yep, I had a red one. What color was the other one? I'll give you a clue. It's still parked up in Connecticut at Bummer's Truck Yard. What? Nah, it's white. You don't remember the white one? Well, I bought the white one before you were born. But that's how we got to the finish line, man. That's how we got here. You know, I always had a plan to go big, but I had to start out small. You know, so I worked and worked and worked and saved for a couple of years until I was able to put some money down on a tractor. We never look back, man. So why do you want to go to the NBA? I think basketball. Basketball is fun. I mean, it's fun when you're a little kid, but. When you play in the NBA, man, that's a job. A job isn't necessarily always fun. You know, when, when you're getting paid, they have expectations, and those expectations need to be fulfilled. You know, so if you're not doing your job, you'd be right out, out of the league in no time. You get a lot of money. Yeah, you get a lot of money. A lot more money than trucking.
happening, driver? You know what it's saying right here in that right lane, flashing you. Where you heading? North? I'm doing some quick local, local right here, about to get over at exit 10. Alright, driver, be safe, man. Appreciate you checking in, man. Be careful, I knew one day I'm gonna run into you. Besides on the uh, internet there. 10-4, 10-4. Got a safe one. Alright, uh, you, you'll be safe as well, man. This is the Mario Como Bridge. Governor Mario Como. He's the former governor of New York. But uh, at night, it lights up, man. It's real pretty at night. Um, depending which night you come across, it might be a different color each night. One night it might be purple. All these beams right here, they light up real pretty at night. But I remember when this bridge was being built. I went to Pennsylvania one day to pick up a load. And I was going down on the other side and I came back up. Both sides were open. It's crazy. Teamwork, a lot of manpower, and um, good technology. I forgot how much it was, but it was over a billion dollars to build this bridge right here. That's a nice view looking over the Hudson River. That's the Hudson River right here below you. Not really. It looks like it's next to the sky, but it's really not. And this is the strict speed zone right here. If they catch you speeding in the truck over here, they'll get you. They just don't want trucks speeding over here. But I like to get all the way over to the right lane because once we get off the bridge and we get to the top of the hill, the left lane is gonna end and there's gonna be a lot of traffic in the middle lane and the left lane. So before I go over the bridge, I get all the way to the right lane. How many states have you been to so far in, in the truck? I'd say about 30. room up front right here it might look like a lot of room on camera but it's not really much a little semi-circle right there I also have a trailer to my right right here that's probably gonna be in the way a little bit but uh, I'm about to go open up the doors and I'll back up on this door right now Woo. 
frosty up in there. My reefer is set at minus 10 right now, but it's actually reading. Ooh, we have a little what's in my tire right here. Might have to get a soap bottle and check that out. Let me uh put a mark on it real quick. Looks like it's a nail. I don't know if it's going all the way through. So let's put a mark so I know exactly where it's at. I'm going to check you out in a little bit. I'm going to back up so you can get by. I'm going right here. I'm going to back up so you can get by. I don't want to hold him up, so I'm going to just back up real quick so he can get by. Teamwork. You just gotta get to the back of the building. They have more doors in the back. All right, y'all, so I'm loaded. Um, just put off the door. I gotta go park up to the side and then um, walk in and get my paperwork. So, let's see what we got here. So this is frozen organic salted egg yolk. So this is only the yolk of the egg. Man, this is heavy. Yeah, this is probably about 44,000 pounds. You know, the brokers lie and they list it at um, 41,000. But this is definitely about 44,000. I felt it when I moved off the door. I know what 41,000 pounds feel like, and this is a lot heavier, so. That's just what the brokers do. They'll, they'll list a couple of thousand pounds below what it actually weighs, because they know when a lot of guys see the heavier loads like the 44,000, um, they'll probably pass up on it, you know, because um, when you're running a reefer, man, trying to scale 44,000 pounds can be challenging, especially when you drive a long nose Pete, you know? And it's too bad I can't see up front, but I'm gonna climb up here and I'm gonna walk back there, man. I gotta see how they loaded me. That will determine how I slide my tandems, you know? So I'm gonna walk back there. Hopefully they got a single in the nose. Let's see. Nope. Man. Yeah, this is definitely not a good way to load, man. With 44,000 pounds, you wanna have at least a single in the nose. So more than likely, regardless what I do, this is probably gonna be over on one of my axles. So a night like tonight, you just play it safe and do most of your driving at night. And this is slippery, guys. Uh, if they were to put a single in the nose, odds are it wouldn't be able to fit anyway. So that's probably why they put a double up front. So for all my nut truckers watching, when I say a single up front in the nose, so that's the nose of the trailer all the way up front. This is the tail. So you want to have a single pallet as the first row. 
because that's less weight on the first row. So you're trying to distribute that weight towards the back so I could put it on the trailer instead of all the weight being on the drive. So this is a trailer axle right here. That's the drive axle on the tractor up there. So that's what I mean when I say I needed a single up front. But uh, we'll make it work. It is what it is. gonna pull over to the shoulder and then I'm gonna go inside and get my paperwork but I could feel this man this feels heavy um, I know what 41,000 pounds feel like this ain't it this is probably about 44,000 pounds right here right. I know a lot of you oversized guys you know like to do weight comparisons listen man I haul I haul refrigerated, man. I don't haul oversized. So I'm not gonna put 100,000 pounds inside my reefer. You know, when that floor cracks, who's gonna pay for it? I am. So I don't get into this weight competition with nobody out here, man. A lot of these guys in my comment section, um, you know, they like to criticize or do weight comparison. Oh, that's all you're hauling 44,000 pounds? Yeah, it's a reefer. What do you expect? You want me to put 100,000 pounds in the back of a reefer? I'm pretty sure my aluminum floor wouldn't like that. You know? And I'm pretty sure DOT wouldn't like that either. You know, forget, forget a fine. That's borderline going to jail right there. And I'm not about that life, man. I'm not gonna say I've never been over. We all have, it's trucking, it happens. But knowingly loading 100,000 pounds in the back of my trailer, that's just stupidity, man. You know, there's no money in the world a broker could pay me to put upwards of 70,000 pounds in the back of my trailer, for what? Like I said, man, when that floor cracks, I'm the one paying for it. And uh, sorry guys if I'm moving my head too sudden. You know, I'm just trying to back up in this spot right here. So um, for all you rookie drivers out there, this is a parallel parking. Boom. Let's go inside and get the paperwork. Zaire, I'll be right back, okay? All right. He's back there chilling, man. Um, what else do I need? I'll uh, shut this truck off. Oh yeah, um, that guy, you guys just saw me wave that while I was pulling up right here. Um, I just gave him my YouTube channel for him to subscribe. And when I gave him my channel, you know, he was already a subscriber. So, these videos are definitely getting out, man. I got my paperwork in hand and I'm about to roll out of here. Now, um, this load is a blind shipment. Uh, what that means is it's not going to the actual delivery address that's on the paperwork. Uh, right now, this is saying I'm going to California, which will never happen because this truck will never ever go back to California. Not even if you gave me a million dollars, wouldn't do it. But um, this is a blind shipment going to North Carolina. So, so basically one customer ordered it. It's going somewhere else. They're going to ship it to wherever it needs to go from there. So my job is to take it to North Carolina. And uh, they do what they want to do with it after that. Uh, Reefer unit is cooling real good, man. It was at 8 degrees when I walked inside. We're sitting at 1 degree right now. So that's good. Nice looking truck right there. It's one thing about those stainless steel trailers, man. Once you get them dinged up, it looks so obvious, you know. It's a nice trailer, but it's got a couple of dings on the side. 
All right, little guy, you ready to roll? So, they gave me the seal because he's supposed to put it on, but we ain't gonna ride him out. Y'all didn't see that. That was the case, I could put it on back there. I mean, so this is that seal that requires my wire cutter when I pull up at the receiver. Yeah, once these seals are on, it's on. It's actually the wrong way. Oh, that's the right way. That's it, man. Once it's on, it's on. Boom. Sealed and, you know, just for extra security. We lock it up. Let's ride out. I'll see you next time. All right, God bless, man. God bless you. Yeah. destination so I'm probably gonna do about uh, maybe 300 miles today and I'll finish the rest tomorrow no need to rush I don't have to be there until 5 p.m. tomorrow and it's about 5 p.m. right now so no rush I do need to stop and get some fuel though Definitely got a little grumble to her.
front and uh, come buckle up because I'm about to go down the hill in a minute, okay? So normally if he's up and I'm going down a steep hill or something, I have him come sit up front, you know? You just never know, man. I'm confident in what I can do going down the hill in the truck. But uh, you never know what you might run into going down the hill, you know? So somebody might be stopped halfway down there, stop traffic or something, you never know. Remember, son, it's not a race to get down to the bottom. It's all safe you get down there. Let the Jake break do the work for you.
the night, bud. You ready to go to sleep? No? Yeah. Yeah? Check break off. Ah, I could have went, but I guess we'll just wait. But this is it, man. Exit 118 off the 95. I believe this town is called Woodford, Virginia. Let's check it out. Yep, Woodford, Virginia. One of my favorite truck stops right here, man. Sheets. But uh, unfortunately, they don't have showers over there. I already took a shower today, but that's the only drawback with this truck stop, man. They just expanded the parking lot to accommodate more trucks, but they don't have no showers. That's the only drawback. And um, when I was here last week, the price of fuel was $3.38 a gallon. It's now $3.48, so it went up by 10 cents. Which is still the cheapest, by the way, so I'm not complaining. This truck is kind of heavy, so when I pull up to the truck stop, man, I be trying to stay off the throttle a little bit, you know? Trying to wake nobody up. But this is one truck stop right here. When I pull up, I know for sure I'm gonna find parking. Even if I gotta make me a parking spot. This place is just too big, too wide, not to find a parking spot. Let's see where we gonna park tonight, man. No parking zone right there in the corner. I can't fit there anyways. But yeah, we just gonna pull up right here next to homeboy right here. I'm gonna leave him a little room so he can swing and get out of there if he wake up before me in the morning so he ain't gotta wake me up. Or, I could park in between that truck right there. Nah, that's not enough room. If that driver pull forward a little, I could, but um, we're just gonna park right here, man. So we gonna leave enough room. So if he wakes up before us in the morning, he could get out. And uh, guys, sorry if I'm moving my head too fast and I'm trying to back up. And uh, when you're backing up, you kind of got to pay attention to what you're doing. So that requires a sudden head movement from one side to the next. up in the morning if you gotta swing and get out if you get out he ain't gotta wake me up so we gonna sign off for the night man listen guys I'm trying to keep these videos under 30 minutes so I probably got to end this one right here so to everybody that tuned in made it to the end appreciate you guys and as usual man if you're not subscribed to the channel please hit that subscribe button Turn on your notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up. Drop me a comment in the comment section. Share this video. Let's get these videos out, man. And uh, this morning when I woke up and started recording this video, I was sitting at 150,000 subscribers. 150K. By the time I parked up tonight, I was over 151. So if you were a part of that new group, that new 1,000 sub, that sub today. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate all the love, all the support. And as usual, God bless. And we will catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.